Hello everyone and welcome back. Thank you for joining me. This will be part two of making Damascus with pallet strap and bandsaw material. I start by heating it up. And then I'll take it out and apply flux. This lets the flux melt into the layers and get in between each piece. The flux helps clean out the dirt and the coating on the bandsaw and pallet strap. Anything like rust or anything will be removed with the flux and help give it a better weld. Heat it up before it's red hot and apply flux. And then as the flux melts, as it gets red hot, I'll add more flux and it melts further into it. To do the weld, I bring it up to a bright orange or yellow heat. Um, the flux will look like it's boiling. If you get it so hot that it sparks, that's starting to be too hot. You don't want to go too far. Uh, if it actually looks like a sparkler with a bunch of sparks everywhere, that's way too far. Too hot. My forge has a single burner, so it's a very direct, concentrated heat in a small area. So I'll heat it up and weld individual sections as I go. Keep bringing it up to yellow-orange heat and setting the welds and you'll feel it consolidate into a solid piece. Try to keep everything square as you're welding it together. Try to keep the anvil face clean in between heats so you don't incorporate the slag and scale into the billet. The smoke that you see come out is the liquefied flux and scale material. This helps remove all the impurities from inside the weld. As you go, if you notice some spots that don't weld, you can add more flux if there's any gaps or anything. And that also helps remove the scale so those places will weld together easily. I'm hammering with the layers of the billet parallel to the face of the anvil. After it's forge welded, I will turn it 90 degrees and draw it out perpendicular to the anvil face. Just keep repeating 
heat it up to yellow or orange and keep doing in sections until everything looks completely welded. You don't need very hard hits for the welds to set. You're not like, it's not like you're driving a nail into wood. You're not really forcing the layers together. Um, you're not really melting or liquefying the steel. You're just heating it up to a point that it wants to stick to itself. And you really, you really want more of a flat, uh, wider hammer than heavy. And this is the widest hammer that I have, and I just do light taps. Here I'm just shaping it, trying to make it square, checking the welds, checking for any cracks or delaminations. I'm not really trying to stretch it out at this point. Just giving it shape. You'll know if your welds are complete, if the entire billet seems like a single piece. If you have any cracks, they'll show up as dark spots. Or if you have pieces that aren't connected properly, they'll cool at different rates, giving you different colors. You want a nice, consistent, equal color throughout the whole piece. When you're hammering, the side that your hammer is on does most of the work, so if you need to make a weld on one side or the other, have that side facing up. And when you hit it, it'll help do more work in that area. Again, you always want to keep your anvil clean. Now it appears to be completely welded. I'm just straightening, straightening it up and looking for any small cracks or open areas. And there it is, ready to be drawn out into whatever shape you need it for, for the project you're making. Uh, if you like the content, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions or ideas for future videos. Um, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.